Welcome and congratulations on your new combi oven. During the following minutes, we will show you how to get a good start with your Visual Cooking Standard Model K or C combi oven. At first, a couple of practical details. Open the door, turn the handle to the right, wait for a second, turn the handle to the right again. The short delay is inserted for reasons of safety, to allow the steam to escape before the door is opened wide. If your oven is equipped with a core temperature probe, it is located here. If your oven is equipped with a hand shower, it's located here. The oven chamber thermo switch is located here. If you own a K oven, there are two thermo switches. The second switch is located here and is connected to the steam generator. Start the oven by pressing here. Select the hot air mode here. You set the temperature by pressing here. When the light diode flashes, you can select a new temperature with the turn switch. When the desired temperature is reached, you confirm by pressing the button again. You set the time by pressing here. When the light diode flashes, you use the turn switch to change the time. Remember to confirm by pressing here. If you want the oven to run continuously, turn the switch to the left until this symbol appears. Start the oven by pressing the on off button. The actual oven temperature is shown here. And by pressing the button, you are always able to see the set temperature. The time remaining is shown here. If you increase the temperature to between 250 and 300 degrees, the preheating program starts automatically. The program runs for a maximum of 15 minutes. We recommend that you set the preheating temperature at 30 degrees above the desired production temperature as heat escapes when you open the oven door to place the products in the oven. You get the best cooking result if you preheat the oven. The visual cooking ovens are equipped with a reversing fan, which ensures a uniform surface on the products. As standard, the fan is set at 100%. When the light diode is on, the fan speed is lower than that. You can set the fan speed in all cooking modes. By pressing this button and turning the switch, you can set the fan speed at 9 different steps, between 100% and 20%. For delicate products like meringue, we recommend 20% fan speed. Confirm the setting here. These meringues are baked at low fan speed, as they should be. These are baked at high fan speed. At temperatures above 200 degrees, the lowest fan speed is 50% to avoid overheating of the oven's computer. If you want crispy crust on your bread, it helps to open the exhaust. You activate the exhaust here. It is only possible to open and close the exhaust in the hot air mode. When the light diode is on, the exhaust is open. When the exhaust is open, the fan motor draws moisture out of the oven. The reheating mode can be used to finish the products or to reheat products that have been cooled down. Select reheating here. We are going to reheat lasagna at 140 degrees. The core temperature is set at 80 degrees. Note that the core temperature probe is an optional extra for Honus standard models. The automatic humidity setting provides a perfect humidity level in the oven chamber. Therefore, it is not necessary to cover the dish with film or a lid. To protect the product, the standard fan speed in the reheating mode is 50%. We are going to reheat meat and vegetables at 140 degrees for 12 minutes. When you reheat food on plates, you get a juicier product on a dry plate. For this, we recommend the use of Hauner's Banquet System. A core temperature probe ensures that your products are not overdone, because the core temperature of the product indicates when the product is done. Core temperature probe is an optional extra for Hauner's standard models. You will find the probe very useful when you prepare a roast beef for instance. Activate the probe here. When the digit flashes, you can change the temperature by turning the switch. Press the button again to confirm the setting. The time is inactive while you are using the probe. 
If you want to delete the setting of the probe, you turn the switch all the way to the left. The Combi 1 and 2 modes combine steam and hot air. Select Combi 1 here. This roast beef we will roast in Combi 1 at 165 degrees. Combi 2 adds more steam than Combi 1 and is therefore perfect for braising meat. Select Combi 2 here. We will roast this rump joint in Combi 2 at 120 degrees until it is medium done. If we add the right amount of humidity during the preparation, shrinkage is reduced. If you are the owner of a K oven, you use the steam generator for steaming. A C oven, on the other hand, steams by means of injection steam. If you use injection steam, you should add 50% of cooking time. Select steaming here. There are three steaming modes. Low temperature steaming at 60 to 80 degrees. Traditional steaming at 100 degrees. If you are pressed for time and want to speed up the cooking process, you can select forced steaming. However, forced steaming should be used with care. To get the best results, we recommend that you activate the steaming mode 8 minutes before you start loading the oven. We are going to steam salmon at a low temperature of 65 degrees and the core temperature set at 60 degrees. At this temperature, the meat becomes tastier and juicier because the proteins don't rupture. We're going to steam this rice at 100 degrees for 20 minutes. We are going to steam these potatoes at 100 degrees, with the core temperature set at 98 degrees. We recommend that you do not open the oven door during the steaming process. If you do, you should add 2 to 4 minutes per 30 minutes of cooking time. Hauner's standard models are equipped with a semi-automatic cleaning system. Before you start cleaning, you should make sure that the temperature in the oven chamber is below 80 degrees. Press here and turn the switch until cleaning appears in the display. Press on and follow the instructions in the display. The automatic cleaning system Combi Wash, which is an optional extra, you activate by pressing here and turning the switch until Combi Wash appears in the display. Before you start cleaning, you should make sure that the temperature in the oven chamber is below 80 degrees. Check that there is enough detergent and rinse aid. Detergent and rinse aid are automatically dosed and pumped through a closed circuit. Therefore you will not come into contact with the chemicals. Press here to select one of five cleaning steps. Step 0 is a short rinsing program. Use steps 1 and 2 after steaming and roasting at low temperatures. Use steps 3 and 4 after roasting at temperatures above 180 degrees. Press on. We recommend that you clean your oven every day at the end of the workday. When the cleaning program is finished, the oven automatically goes into power saving standby. Clean the oven cabinet with a moist cloth. Never use a scrubbing sponge. Clean the interior door glass by loosening the glass and wiping it with a moist cloth. Clean the air filter which is located here, once a month or according to requirement. You loosen the air filter like this. It is an advantage to use preset recipes to ensure that you get uniform results every time. The recipes are easy to use as well as time saving. You select the recipe function by pressing here and turning the switch. It is possible to enter 10 recipes, each containing up to 3 steps. Write text by pressing this button until the first field in the display flashes. Select letters and numbers by turning the switch. When you get to the right character, press this button to confirm. Then select the next character. When the text is ready, you save it by pressing this button until the display shows saved. Now it's time to make the recipe steps. Press here and the figure 1 indicates that this is the first step. Select cooking mode. 
Select temperature. Select time. If you press here, the alarm sounds after this step, and the oven waits for you to open and close the door before it continues to the next step. Press here, and key in the next step. To save the program, press this button until the display shows Saved. Turn the switch to the left to return. You find the recipe by pressing here and turning the switch. Start the program by pressing here. If this demo DVD does not answer all your questions, we refer you to our user manuals. You can also get tips and inspiration for the use of combi ovens at our website, howonu.com.